Infinix has just introduced new devices that feature a GoPro mode. So it's interesting that for the first time we are seeing a collaboration between a smartphone manufacturer and GoPro. This is the new series. That includes two models, one 4G model and one 5G model. In this case, they didn't go for a Pro Plus Max Ultra super cool naming convention, so let me tell you the specifications of these devices, which will obviously be very similar in design. Their main difference will be the level of connectivity they support. In terms of design, the rear camera module is round with a grid layout, and these cameras feature a curved display, giving it a notably attractive design. Both models feature 6.74-inch AMOLED displays with full HD resolution, a 144Hz refresh rate, a peak brightness of 1,300 nits, and are also protected with Gorilla Glass 5. They obviously come with an integrated fingerprint reader, and as I mentioned, the curved screen gives it a quite attractive touch. For the front camera, no sacrifices are made as it incorporates a 50-megapixel Samsung JN sensor, while on the back we find the main 108-megapixel camera with a Samsung Isis LHM sensor also featuring optical stabilization. Additionally, there is a 50-megapixel ultra-wide camera and a simpler 2-megapixel depth camera, along with a flash. Therefore, it clearly does not have a telephoto camera, but we are talking about a device that is not yet aiming to position itself in a sort of premium mid-range. The 5G version can record videos in 4K, while the other version is limited to support up to 1080p. The processors of these devices will obviously be different. For the 4G version, we find the new MediaTek Helio G, while the 5G edition incorporates a Dimensity 8200. We also see differences in RAM, with options of 8 and 12 GB respectively. Both models offer two storage options of 256 and 512 GB, and the battery is 5000 mAh in both models with support for 45 watts charging. However, the 5G version also has additional capabilities with wireless charging and reverse wireless charging, features that we generally only see in high-end devices, but are becoming increasingly common in some premium mid-range devices. Specifically, it supports 20 watts of wireless charging and 10 watts of reverse wireless charging. These devices come with XOS 14.5 pre-installed out of the box with Android 14 and are promised two years of software updates along with three years of security patches. They are available in a wide range of colors. And if you're wondering what happens with the GoPro mode, within the camera interface of these devices, there will be this mode that allows it to function as a viewfinder for your GoPro camera. So they can be linked. And you don't need a special monitor or to install the app completely. You simply pair these two devices. And from the native camera of these Infinix, we will be able to have that viewfinder. For now, these devices have been introduced in Malaysia, but a global expansion is expected very soon. The most basic model of the 4G edition has an approximate price of $289, but keep in mind that prices here are not the same as those over there. On the other hand, the most basic version with G is priced at $399. Let me know what you think about these devices and if you would like to see more brands collaborate with GoPro.